Thank you very much for accepting to come sit on the chair, yes. Yeah. Thank, you, thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you. Please do such a Yes, yes, yes. Always a good time and the best time with your head packed by Sheldon. Ah, you know. <laughs> I don't and take it for granted. Nah, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you, my bro. You know, the last time we cut was actually at the... Uh, In Cape Town, uh, at the Cotton Fest. No, it was a Joburg one. And the Cape Town one. Oh, the Cape Town one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. There were a lot of people yes. around. Uh, we shot something. I remember, <laughs> I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. But how, how's things been, my bro? I mean, it's been, see, I mean, like this year for you has just been something else, huh? Yeah, it's been hectic. It's, been it's hectic. this been like the highlight for you, this 2024 really? is like. Um. 2024 hasn't been really been a yeah. crazy year for yes. us. I think last year was a mad year for us. Is it? Yeah. Uh, even though we only opened, I think, maybe about two stores. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yes, this year we opened two stores, yes. one in New York, one in Santa. Yes. Um, but it hasn't been crazy. It hasn't last been year. crazy, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, Yes. You know very well the economy has been. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough. It's been tough. Yeah. As they say, during election, the year of the election is when yes. the economy just slumps down. That's true. Yeah. That's so true. That's so true. So you know what I want to do, now? and I know that you, yeah. you want to prefer the haircut, no? Mm -hmm. But I would like to do this. Yeah. I would like to give you the Ricky special. The Ricky special. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> in memory of the great. In memory, I mean. The greatest to ever do it. The greatest to ever do it. Yeah, man. I accept uh, that challenge. Ah, my bro. I accept that challenge. I accept that challenge. And if you think about it, I mean, I mean, if you think about Ricky, for example, Ricky has played such a vital role. In my life, and I'm sure in your life as well, because he always yeah. talks about La Duma. Ever since the first time I met him, yeah. it's like, nah, you have to meet up with La Duma. La Duma is the... Because, you know, like in this business, there's a lot of guys. But, mm. you know, like when Ricky recommends somebody and it's like, La Duma is the, the guy. guy shakes. Yes. Yeah, if I can yes. say so myself, um, one great thing that Ricky has done for me and the brand is that he connected the brand with the culture. When I say with the culture, I mean with the hip hop community, mm. with the Amapiano community. Yes. When it was still on a come up, uh, with the 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 the, the, the fashion yes. menswear fashion community. You yes. Know, that wasn't paying attention. Um. He was that guy that would plant a seed, like he said to you that yes. Yo, you guys need to look out for my car, so. Yes. And he did that with uh, with cultural corner. Yes, I remember. Uh, I remember. You know, yes, the, the, the yes, corner. yes, yes. He kept on ringing this phrase to me that it yes. blooms. <laughs> Yeah, the natural corner line. <laughs> <laughs> they coming, they coming. They coming, they coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. They doing too much. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm mentoring them. Yes. Making sure that they they come with the heat. Oh. I'm like, I, I, I don't wanna lie. I had no clue. <laughs> but um, but you know that's how it is because yeah. sometimes you'll say some stuff that but is it like lands late, it huh? lands late and you're like ah. All the time, this guy was talking like this. Yeah, that's but you're not understanding, bro. Yeah. That's it. And out of cultural corner, of course, Zeus and Kai are the guys. There. Yes. Uh, came out. Ooh, Uncle Waffles. Yeah. And a lot of other talents, you know. Yeah. And I still yet to be discovered, you know. Yes. So um, it's crazy to think that Ricky manifested that these things it will be a global impact what we do what are you doing today yeah. huh? miss we miss Ricky man yeah no. I think I think that for me is the greatest uh, loss that we suffered and you know to make it worse now I mean for me personally yeah uh, one of the hardest things that I had to do mm. and I'm sure you as well yeah was the time when he passed away yeah and you had to create an outfit for him yeah. And I gave him a haircut 
in the mortuary. Yeah, probably your experience was the worst. But uh, for me, I must say it was one of the most difficult design challenge that I ever had to do in my life. Yes. So Bianca called me, I think, I think the, the, a week before the funeral. Yes. And said, and said to me that, listen, um, the family uh, had a vision through whatever way that... Yes. Ricky says he wants to be dressed in my car, so, uh, for his final send off. I was like, what? Eish. No, man, I had to call again to confirm, you know, because it was, it didn't land. Yeah, it didn't make sense. It didn't, it didn't make sense, you yes, know, it didn't make yes, sense. Yes. And on top of that, they said it must be all white. It must be all white, yes. So you can imagine, you yes. know, how. That's frustrated I was and how I am still moaning and yes. and and with this belief that this is probably not true. Yes. Uh we in a dream, so within the next few days, uh this is all gonna end. This is one of Ricky's campaigns. Yes. Um, um yes. he was he was he was, he had like the most impactful campaigns, yes, especially when it drops a new music or yes. new products or new yes. collaboration. Yes. yes, yes, man. I had sleepless nights until the day of the funeral. <sighs> um, I did uh, a, I did a render. Yes. There's a beautiful image of him when he was in Paris that got shot by Mini. Yes, I remember where, that on the one where we were standing with the pants. With the pink oh, suit. Yes, with the pink yeah, suit. Yeah, I took that image and did a render on top of it. Oh, you know. nice. was the most difficult thing to think about. Uh, yes. I put Gucci loafers on the render. Because yes. the large Gucci, I put a Makosa suit. Yes. The yes. pants and the jacket. Yes. On top, it was a cloak. Yes. Uh, a cloak, which is like a a king's cloak yes uh yes, I saw, I saw. Oh. the cloak had like gold patterns on it yeah. and then it had a trim along the cloak yes that was written uh king cotini yes yes and on then it. on it and then it had a sign of forever and then it had Makato um uh Makato, Ricky Rick forever, Aish. King Cotini forever, you know? Aish. Um, Aish. I, I slept here in the studio. Serious? For the days that they were, but the production team was doing that. Yes. Um, I ended up designing pieces for Bianca. Yes. And Makato family. Yes like white golfers yes, yeah. and the white outfit for 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 for, for bianca and, and the white family. dress for ricky's mother you know yes. it ended up becoming a beautiful celebration oh, man else, um it was beautiful and yes. super sad at the same time yeah, yeah. yeah. It's because his life was do you know the impact of somebody's life if 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 people still talk about it person when he's not around yeah then you know that person made an impact. Yeah. And we know this because, you know, some people left this earth mm. and forgot about it. Exactly, exactly. But some people till today yeah. say, you know what, if that guy was around, yeah. this would have been X, Y, and Z. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've had legends before, you know. Yes. We've had Lucky Dubes, we've had Brenda Fassi, yes. we've had multiple legends. Um, um, but to the youth, I think Ricky's one was special in a sense that he hit a age group that is from 10 years old to to 80 years old. Yes. And those people are still growing, you know? They're still growing. And they were in stage of stages of growing and they will technically we will talk about him until we pass. Until we pass. That's true. Yeah, because the conversation is in that age group's tongue. Yes. Um, 
Yeah, man. So true. So Makado so forever. May his soul rest in peace. I'm sure his soul is resting in power. And how it feels like sometimes with the success that we are achieving as brands, yes, that we're affiliated with him, yes, I sort of feel like as a higher force. Yes. Than he is, than yeah. us. Yes. He's behind He's certain behind things, certain man, things. that are happening. Uh, like, look now. Yes. We just opened a store very close to the Diamond Walk. Wow. In a location that is meant to be an yes. extension of the Diamond Walk. Yes. Uh, yes, the one you opened in Santa now recently. Yeah, the yes. one you opened in Santa yes. a week ago. Yes. Makado would have been super proud of that. And that's literally down the road from, or down the alley from Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Exactly. All of those brands. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. You know, so those are life changing moments that I'm always like, God, if, if Ulrike was around, he would have yes. been out there splashing cash all over the store. <laughs> and buying multiple pieces with his haircuts. Yes, with his haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but how does that feel, man? Because, you know, you know the thing is, like, like we're speaking out of there and we're talking yeah. about how the brand Maclosa has grown. Because yeah. I remember Maclosa when yeah. it was Maclosa by La Duma. Yes, in Newtown. In Newtown. Yeah, yeah. But now the change happened. Yeah. And you said, no, come on. Rephrase, yeah. but can I rebrand it? Yeah. Take it on much more as a business and yeah. not me pushing it the whole time. Yeah, so um the pre the rebranding happened subtly. Yes. People didn't notice. Yeah, we didn't notice. Yeah, they just saw a, 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 a Makosa Africa. Yes. But uh, as you know, when we were together in Newtown, it was 2015. Yes. Uh, we started, I had the, the, I've always had the thought in the back of my mind that how about I not associate the brand with my name? So yes. hence, I called it Makosa. Yes. You know, but I, I, I was aware that if I call it Makosa, that means that people are going to come up with generics and say, uh, their brand is Corsa or yes. Lima Corsa, whatever, yes. you know. So yes. I said, by Latuma, because I wanted to tell the story of the Corsa people yes. in my own perspective. That's true. Uh, but then I realized, learning about marketing and branding, that, uh, like in your case, right? Yes. Legends, Baba. Yes. Your name, Sherilyn, is not in the branding. Yes. Uh, therefore, should something physically happen to you, uh, the brand won't go, go down with you. That's true. You understand? It will be true. your personal related story. Yes. Uh, and not affect the legends, Baba legends brand Baba. that you've created. You know? That's true. Um, same goes for Makosa Africa. Yes. I've dis deassociated my name. So that should something physical happen to me, yes. I mean, people pass, man. Yeah. We, we are not, we are, we are not uh, immortal. Not immortal yes. Yeah. So um, an example that I will use, sadly, yes. Nelson Mandela passed yes. in, in 2013, I yes. think. Um, the brand value has since deteriorated, deteriorated a, a little time. bit over time. Yes. And. And that's a natural occurrence that would happen with Mahatma Gandhi, yes. Martin Luther King, or anyone, you know? Any brand that's out there. Yeah, um, but I think that if there was another sub-brand that was created, like Global Citizen yes. or whatever, you know, yes. strategic brand, that would have lived on yes. and grown, you understand? And while you were still alive while he was still alive yes. you know uh, that goes the same with us man yes. as, as the small guys uh we come up with ideas but we must protect them by making them ideas that are for the people, for the people. and um can that can live that can outlive can us, live us. That's yeah true. yeah That's so true. because you know the one thing i i look at it and i'm looking at and i'm thinking that you know, if you look at us as mm. a generation, we are actually the first generation of entrepreneurs doing yeah. these things. Yeah. So how hard is it to actually break the boundaries, break the norms, 
break that whole thing in order to be where we are today. Yeah, it's super hard, man. Yes. And I'm sure you would relate as well, you know. Like, uh, you were a success story of the colored community. Yeah. I'm a success story of the black community. Yes. And these were communities that were suppressed by apartheid and True. various other forces. I mean, the lasting effects of apartheid is still there still. in the hood, right? Yes. Um, while growing up, one of the things that saddened me about being in the hood, and this is a journey that I had to make sure that I go through while I was in the hood, yeah. I had to take my mindset out of the hood, out of the hood. before I left the hood. Eish. I think that's very important. That's powerful, eh? Yeah, that's, that's powerful, powerful because if your mindset is still there yes. and you haven't extracted your mindset out of the hood, you will still be affected by the lasting effects of apartheid. Yes. One of them being alcohol. Yes. You understand? Yes. With the tavern culture. With the tavern culture. Um, 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 I mean, Rabbits. We, we still go through a lot of traumas that we haven't addressed as black people. So when you succeed, mm. having grown up in the hood, that should be called black excellence. Yes. And not just excellence. And not just excellence. Yeah, uh, there are people yeah. out there in public yeah. that would always like to debate that yes. there's no such thing as black excellence, there's only just excellence. Because yes. if we restrict black excellence to us, then wow. that means that people are not going to compete on a global yeah, stage. Excellent le excellence level. Yes. So I believe that there, there is something called black excellence, which is, is what we achieved. Yeah. Um, because we came out of the mud. So as a, as a first generation person, yes. entrepreneur that came out of the mud, yes. you feel more pressure to, to not flop. Yes. Because uh, there has been other cases of flopness flopping before. Before you. Before you. Before you. And you and you believe you me. Friends. You are a very obvious ch case of flop. Yes, yes. Like a super, yes. super, super obvious the odds, case. The odds are against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. the minute you, you hold a glass of whiskey, Eish. they say, yeah, yes. here are the signs of flopping. They are, they are loading, they are loading, they are loading. They're, as soon as you you at a party or at, yes. at the club, to I know we sing the signs, we sing the, the signs. signs. Uh, he's not disappointing, you know, so... Um, but one thing that's obvious, if you look at it, man, it's like, it's like there's this pulling down syndrome. We call it yeah, PhD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so relevant, huh? No, PhD, bro. Here's what I believe as an entrepreneur. Yes. And I hope to get other entrepreneurs look at this positively, yes. right? So when you've got a crowd that is pulling you down, yes. listen, it's meant to build you to be tough. Yes. Because the global... Business space is not for the weak, so right? True. So when we went to New York, yes, I I used that strength. Yes, yes. When I was out there for months, yes. to to sign leases, leases. to negotiate leases, yes. yes, to 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 talk to contractors, to yes. to do everything that yes. helps us put the store together, man. I remember, I remember your Joe Beck trained us in a tough, good way. Yes. We need those people. P please continue. Yes. <laughs> please continue pulling us down. It's strengthening us. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a line that... Uh, there's a line that Drake, a uh, 29 Savage song, it says, they say money, more problems, and yes. then Drake says, bring all the problems. Bring all the problems. Bring all the problems. All the problems. We want the problems. We want the problems. We want the problems so that we can be tougher. Yes. We can develop a thick skin in order for us to have, how many branches do we have now? It's over 70. Over 70. Yes. So that we can have 700 branches yes. around the world. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, New that's, York being one of them. That's how it works. That's, that's how it works. Exactly how it works. Yeah. Exactly how it works. Hey. But now, the, the, other, the other flip of a coin is that now how do we deal with, because I'm experiencing this and you're experiencing it too. Especially yeah. when, you, when you're seeing and you're legitimately seeing how people are, Copying you yeah, yeah, as you go along. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like that's one of the most difficult things to notice. But, but how do you deal with it? 
Those, those are one of the problems yeah. that the world is bringing to you, man. Yes. Uh, listen, counterfeits are making me a tougher designer. <laughs> Like Counterfeits are making like me a tougher it. designer. I like them. I like uh, them. That game is not for the weak. Yes. The weak ones are the ones that are buying counterfeits. Not yeah. me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. It's dis it's, it's 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 disheartening to see yeah. your people. Yes. Wearing counterfeits and not being patient enough. Oh. Listen, I grew up poor. Yes. I had a choice yeah. when I was a teenager to buy counterfeits. Yes. Of election culture, Ish. right? But I didn't, you know, because my ethics couldn't let me. Yeah. But then, if I did, and I was that type of guy, then you I would have been wearing counterfeits till this day. Till this day. You know, so um, I think it's 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 an ambition thing, man. You know, we yeah. all aspire. I aspire for a Rolls Royce. I aspire yeah. for a yacht. I aspire yeah. to. To pay school fees yeah. for a million children yeah. yes. out here in South Africa, you know, so that they can succeed yes. without relying on government. Um, yes. But then, I won't fake that. Yeah, you can't fake that. Yeah, there's no way possible. There's no way possible no I could way possible. fake that, you know. Yeah. Um, it will kill my soul. Yes. Um, I've met a, a lot of people wearing counterfeits, mm. and they they avoid looking me in the eye. <sighs> And I and I make it okay with them to move yes, around, you know. But yes. there was one guy who asked for a picture, and I told him, "No, no way." He's like, "No way." And he was wondering why. I was like, "Can't you see what you're wearing?" Yeah. Um, it was awkward moment, but uh, yeah, man. It's crazy. They, 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 they strengthening us as people. Yeah, no, that's true. No, yeah. That's not true. Imagine, yeah. if a tone gets counterfeited, good that's shape, true. instead those brands get stronger. That's brands get stronger. If you look at LVMH, they, they grew tremendously. Yeah. I mean, like, they raise their prices three times a year. Yes. You know? Uh, I will, I'm talking about prices, well, and, and you know something, something that, that is, that is also, that's also on people's laps is that, and my clothes are expensive. Yeah. How how do we move around that? Because because in Utah, how much was the gold shirt in Utah? It was two and a half thousand. Right? Yeah, yeah. It was big too. Yeah. And, and now we're standing on now we're standing on uh, we're standing on business. <laughs> yeah. And now it's nine thousand five hundred, mm. I think. Uh, it'll go up to twelve thousand. Yes. Uh, the more we refine and yes. you know um we don't talk about price as a brand yeah we talk about value That's what like. and we put the value into the product and then the customer decides whether they want to invest in that value or not yes um if we want to argue with customers and say that listen we spend millions of brands on fashion shows yes. in paris Yes. We spend millions of brands, yes. fashion shows in uh, and mm. festivals, yes. marketing, yes. malls, charges millions of brands and rent. Yes. I'm sure you paid millions yes. of brands and rent. Yes. Uh, on, man, you're not going to win that. You know, you know what yeah. it's going to be a back and forth. Yeah. But I think what keeps you going is that the Maclosa brand has become so solidified yeah. that people are assured of a quality product. Yeah, yeah, no, like uh, your, your, your early adopter customers yeah. are the one who help us a lot. Yeah. Uh, early... What was your first customer doing? My first... You remember the first? The very yeah, first yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the first Matosa customer. Yeah. It was a, a lady called Vuyo who, yeah. who has passed. She bought one of the pieces that I did at school, at uh... university. Uh, she bought the piece at a... a a reasonable price and I've been trying to buy it back from her while she was still alive. Ah, I couldn't succeed. Uh thought it for another day. But you can yeah may a so beautiful happy. soul so rest happy. in peace. Yeah. Um and she came to my house not there to buy the piece but she was my sister's customer but yes. it was by the way okay give me that piece for two two and a half thousand. Hey. <sighs> Two and a half thousand was twenty thousand rand to me. She yes, yes. So I gave it to her with the hope that I'll buy it again back. Yes. You know, um, offered her other pieces. You know, 
Um, her, her daughter inherited mm. it. Um, first bulk customer was Merchants on Long in Cape yes, Town. Yes, 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 uh, yes. I remember, I remember that story. You're telling that story. First inverted commas celebrity customer yes. was Scoop. Yeah. Scoop Makatin. Scoop Makatin. What? Yeah. Was the first. So that was the first guy that, that actually put a plug on. So. Yeah, yeah, no. When he came over to Joburg, he yeah. plugged on the brand to yes. a lot of street cultural guys in yeah. Johannesburg, yeah. hip hop guys, yeah. even to Ricky yes. and uh, Malumu Cool Cats, yeah. Bubesi, and all of them. Um, Scoop is a legend. Huh? No, Scoop, uh, if there's one thing that Scoop yeah. does very well, is yes. give shout outs. Yeah. Especially. And um, uh, Street Journal days used to shut out like nobody's business. Yes. Um, yeah, no, those, those were the those first. Were the, those were the first ones. Those were the first. And I think that they should give you the confidence just to keep on going, just to keep on going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I think when you start a brand, I'm sure you yes. felt this yourself. You, yes. uh, your sense of surety is not 100%. Yeah. Your customers validate that surety. Yes. They validate it and they the ones who give you confidence to continue. Yes. I remember when you were, your brand was growing, you know, yes. I started wondering why the hell Abu Cuesta and all of yes. them yes. flexing on us with yes. haircuts and yes. telling us yes. where they cut their hair yes. until it started sinking into yes. our heads that, geez, there's a, there's, there's a heavy barber brand. Yes. Yes. That is growing. That's called Legends Baba, and uh, we saw Bulut Love and, yes. and all these other names. Day, huh? Hey, that's, yeah. that's more than about yeah. ten years ago, you know. So um, those people, those people make us yeah. build confidence, yeah. and then yeah. they are co-sign yes. to to market, gives them confidence. Give them confidence. You know, so yeah. um, those things help. Yeah, yeah they helps a lot. Yeah, they definitely helps a lot. Yeah. How do you want to be at Marvel? Ah, uh, just a trim, just a trim. Just a trim. Yeah. I take it a little short. No, no, we leave that one. Okay. That one is for the babies. Oh, this one. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so we're just going to trim it like this. Yeah. Okay, and the under. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we started our own clipper brand. Really? really? You're lying, it's bro. Clipper brand. What is it called? Fade. Fade? Yeah, fade. Now, I think it's the, yeah. Now that's a game changer. Hey. You're taking the whole video hey. chain. Hey, yeah. yeah. Now you're gonna start selling hair and <laughs> sell it to the ladies. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what's what's the next frontier? Just do the family. You have a clippers now. I didn't see that coming. Like what's the next frontier now? I think I think I think now the main thing is to grow it, huh? Mm. Yeah. But but I think one of the things that, that I would also like to do is to yeah. also to also because you said the trail for us to follow, yeah. like the New Yorks, yeah. like the UKs, you understand? Putting in these key locations. Yeah. Sometimes you don't do it just for, just for to make profit, but yeah. sometimes you do it for the brand. Yeah, sometimes it's to serve the diaspora, yeah. the South African diaspora that is, yes, there. that is there. Yeah, because some people were living here and now they live there living for studies, there. for work. Yes. Now there's no barber that they relate to. Yeah, they relate to that's, that's, that's how I see back it. Home as well. Yeah. It's exactly to that point because now if I'm wearing something from Africa, yeah. I'm speaking towards yeah. that market. That yeah, market. no, amazing, man. Amazing. Amazing. Shout out. Yeah. And I also think with South African Mapiano artists that are traveling global, yes. I mean, our artists are not at a level where they can travel with barber. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like like big celebrities yeah. would. Yeah. So a legend's barber in New York. In New York makes makes sense. All the artists need to go there as they soon as they learn haircuts. Yeah. Yeah, well, go pull up at the show yes. looking yes. fresh, you yes. know. Yes. Yes. Land in London, you know, yes. in, 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 the, in the major. In the major uh, central district. But yes. I think that that's a a fight that we need to fight with arts and culture. We need to fight with GTI. Yeah. And various other government arms, you know, yeah. that should be promoting. protecting and promoting the South African brand, you know. Yes. Uh, it's easy for your Nandos to do it. To do it, yes. Because they've been around for a long time. A long time, yeah. 
uh, it's easy for your Tashas to do it in Dubai, you know, so... Um, but how difficult is it? Because, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's for me, even to do Africa, because we have stores in Africa. Yes, yes, yes. Which country? You, you got Namibia, but no, Botswana. No, Botswana, Lesotho, Zambia. Lesotho. Zambia as well. Zambia. Yeah. You, you, don't, you don't have Mozambique yet. No, 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 not Mozambique. Yet. Ah, that's going to come soon. No, no, it's in you have to lock down the Sadek, the Sadek region. You have to, you have to. And then take it East Africa, you know? Yes. I think Sadek is, is, is a fresh start. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, other challenges of other African countries is the wars, man, and the corruption mm. and the logistic problems. But East Africa is easing up a bit. Yeah. In countries like, um, I'm sure you can find a good franchise in, in Rwanda, Kigali. In Rwanda, yes. yes it's a clean yes. country. Yeah, you know. that one is nice, especially yeah. what he has done. Yeah. He's done the country around, that's amazing. Yeah, maybe we, we must go there and explore. Yes, yes. I haven't been there in a long time, and I used yes. to go there a lot. Eh? Yes, yes. Uh, you can send a team to train and spend a year or oh, six no. months, yes. you know, so. Yes. Um, the president is, is quite patriotic, yes. you know, so. Point. That's the type of people that you want to partner up with. Yeah. yeah because you're partnering up with for the future. It's not short term. Yeah, it's not short term. It's, it's not short term. Absolutely. You know, I've had some chats, you know, some people from East Africa. Yes. That want my class are there. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, people from, Ghana. from Ghana. Yeah, yes. Uh, yes. Ghan, yes. Ghan, I remember you went yeah. to the Afro. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Africa is the next frontier, bro. Yes. As yes. much as people think that our lens is solely focused on europe and, and america yeah um africa is the next frontier but yeah because if you look at the population of africa if you look at the the people yeah uh the age group the age group saying. yeah it's the type of age group that does haircuts yeah. yes that is conscious about the hair conscious about know. lifestyle yeah, lifestyle so, yeah i'm so. actually checking this brand this brand in ghana that that uh, what is this it's a uh, freedom of freedom of, of, of movement or something like yeah. Ghana. They come from Ghana. No, I think it's free the youth. Free the youth. Yeah, freedom, freedom of movement youth. is yes. from Stellenbosch. Yes, no, no. Yeah. That one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that one, that one, and that one is doing well. Huh? Yeah, it's doing well. That one is doing well. It's, I saw it it's doing pop-ups. It's affiliated with the with the daily paper guys. Yeah. You know, so they're getting some good support there. Nice. Uh, Virgil Abloh did something with them. Yes. Um, when he was alive around skating, you know. Nice. Yeah, so Ghana is taking a lot of attention. Yes. Uh, yes. When it comes to the diaspora coming from overseas, you know, it's, Ghana is basically a welcoming economy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, they've got the VW production plant. Oh, they do. Which is supported by the South African one. Uh, I know that, huh? Yeah, Kenya as well. Uh, yeah. So those those two countries, Kenya and Ghana, are, are countries to look out for. Yes. They are countries yes. to look out for. Yes. And Zim? Zim? Think about Zim. Hey, there's, there's been a lot of talks about Zim. Eh? No, but can I tell you something? Can yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, something I didn't share with you. In Zim, uh -huh. I was... I was I went to some of the perception yeah. that, you know, things are not... Yeah, and then, the typical Zim that we hear about on the news every about. day. When I get to Zim, it's a different story. Is it? Ah. I have to hop onto Zim. I'm telling you, yeah. like people, like literally, I won't lie to you, I saw somebody wear my clothes in Zim. Really? Yeah. That's why. These are, these are consumers of South Africa. Ah. And then when you see these guys there back home, mm. in Zim, they ride in the big cars, imagine this. Yeah. Of, uh, and they operate in dollars, right? Yes, yes, yeah. dollars as well. Yeah. Uh, so, so now it's a good. I think it's a. It's always tricky with the with the economy, but I definitely think that it's a good. Yeah, it's yeah. A good one to look into. Yeah, and according to uh, to X slash Twitter streets. Yes. Uh, a lot of a lot of South African ladies have been finding lovers there. In <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> the guys they operate that 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 that, that, that petroleum money yes, yes. in dollars, bro. So yeah. So you, you said you had a branch in Zim, right? No. Ah, you have no, to. Man. I have to make Zim, Mozambique, and Swaziland. Yes. 
Yeah. Lock down the side no, region. That's what we're going to do it. Yeah. And I think that's that's our plan as well. And and I think I must commend you for that. You know, you you were well, for me. You're the first. I'd say independent brand to be present in the Sadek region. The ones that the typical ones that we know are your Standard Bank slash yes. Stambik, yes, uh, FNB, Shoprite, Woolworths, and all of these guys, which are which are corporate companies, yes, man. Corporate companies. Yeah. So for a medium-sized business to be confronting those yes. markets it's different, is right? different. It is different. It's man. tough, man. Right? Yeah, I can I mean, imagine. I mean, the thing is, doing business in Africa, and that's the reason why most people run away from it. Yeah. Because uh, because you have to, the way we do business here, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there, it's mm, different. Mm, mm. You understand? Yeah. You have to do things different compared to, and this is in a whole holistic from being able to get your money from the consumer Ish. to be able <laughs> to, to, to pay certain bribes. Uh. I've actually learned to pay bribes in, in Zim. Oh really? In different places because of yeah. how do people work? Yeah. It's it's like you can't get around without giving something. That's crazy, man. And uh, that makes business tough, eh? Yeah. Cause there's no distinctive like set amount no. for execution. No. So you have to wow. Oh, you see, so it's a it's a different ball game. It's a different ball game. But but it is it's it's a... It's a game we chose to play. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. I've heard, like, yeah. when I used to live in London, yeah. some of the guys out there, when they tell me stories about how they were, they got their fingers burnt in South Africa and Zimbabwe, they were trying to get involved in diamonds and yes. gold industry. They said, ah, man, I tried those territories, but I, I had some guys recruit me and I had to pay bribes, but they didn't deliver. He got scammed, chief. He got scammed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's evident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's evident. I just pray that I, as a business, we don't have to run across those challenges. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but through what you say, because this is where the South African government need to come in. Yeah, understand? and the embassies. And, and the embassies need to come in and say, you know what? What's the what's the way in order for us to do business? In this way without going through all of these channels yeah. in order to get an answer. Yeah. Just take us straight to the full stop and yeah. let us let us operate. No, no, no. Uh, That's tough. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've developed a tough skill. Yes, my brother. He talks about that thing that we spoke about earlier. Not the Tebza. Tebza. Yeah, 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 Teboka. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you know him. I know him. Yeah. Mm. You guys work with him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing some stuff with him. Amazing. Amazing. He's a good guy. Amazing. He's a good guy. He's been our accountant now for years. Is it? Yeah. That's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, and it's good to see people like that also grow, eh? No, man, like, uh, we are growing in different industries. Yes. That's fascinating because when we grow together, it means that we have support. Yes. In um, supply channels that you wouldn't even think that you will need <laughs> in the future, you know? Yeah. So, um, Sometimes you do have a choice to go to a bigger supplier yeah. and leave this small one. Yeah. Sometimes you have a choice to take the small one and take the risk, take the risk. but then be, 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 be surprised on how well they deliver. Yes. You know, so yes. that has That's been amazing. our story. That's amazing. That has been our story with suppliers. We don't work yeah. with like huge suppliers. Yes. Uh, we work with like, Small and medium sized suppliers, you know. And how important is that partnership? Because without that partnership, you are unable to deliver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the partnership has to be healthy, of course, yes. in order for us to deliver. Um, but, you know what? Working with people that get your vision, 
yeah, helps understands. more than the person that doesn't, you know, because the person that doesn't does it with the least amount of care. Yes. And no projection for the future. Yeah. Um, yeah. So choose your suppliers very well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, but just leave this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's leave yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I just want you to see quickly. The results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voila! Eish. Ricky Ricky. Eish. Makado. Eish. Ah, that's the one, eh? The one. <laughs> Stay shining. I remember that Vaseline Ed. That's Vaseline Ed. He was rocking this haircut, oh, clean. Yeah. Uh, it gotta be good. Eish. It gotta be nice. I do it since for you. Stay shining. Yeah, no. I regret it to be Vaseline to another level. Hey, man. Talk about brand affiliation and, and being able to do most. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That was Ricky right there, yeah, man. No. That was Ricky right, right it there. It's all this effort into it. Yeah, man. No. I'm going just in closing, can you just share yeah. the words for the for the entrepreneurs out there? Just a few inspirational words for those that's trying to be the next Maclosa. Yeah. Of our generation. I would say, man, there is no formula for business or life in general. Um, but definitely there is a sense of passion that mm. one, passion and especially purpose mm. that one has to, to feel for whatever field they have chosen. Yeah. And if you have passion and, 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 and a sense of purpose for it, you've got more chances of success yes. than a person that's purely doing it for money. money yes. Not to say that you're not going to make money if you purely do it for money. Yes. No, no, no. But the person with the most passion tends to succeed the most. Yes. I started my business with people that were doing purely for money. Mm. <laughs> and some of, them have, some of them have disappeared in the industry and they went back to the industries that they originally were passionate about. Yes. So um, I don't think that what I would say is new, you know, um, except as a reminder that passion and purpose still play a vital role, a vital role in you succeeding in yes. your field. You know? Yes. Um, That's all. People already know that they have to work hard. People have know already that they, they have to have vast knowledge about what they do. Yes. They know that they, they have to practice until they become perfect. Yes. They know that they have to be savvy about money, you know? Yeah. But a lot of people do discard the fact that purpose and passion, passion speaks volumes. They speak volumes. Yeah. Imagine if you were not passionate about... Dude, listen. If you were not passionate about, hey, you were not going to be cutting me right now. <laughs> <laughs> You would have been out there in Mauritius or Dubai or something, you know? Exactly. But you know it is. We just keep it going. Just keep it going. And I think thank you very much for coming to my highly appreciated man. A pleasure. I feel like this is breaking bread, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think one of the reasons I actually started this whole thing was, you know, somebody needs to hear the stories, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you need to hear it from people that's been through it and it's still going through it and and there's no there's no limit to it. Mm. You understand? Absolutely. We just put the limitations on ourselves and Absolutely. just think that this is where we should stop. But yeah. everything is possible. Oh definitely man. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mongo. Highly appreciate it. I just got the small gift for you, yeah. Yeah. This is uh, just from me to you. Thank you, thank Some you, nice thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's an you. essential hey, pack. Hey, I need to make sure we're young. Is it going to give me the waves? I got you the waves. I got you the waves. Where is it? Nah, I'm nah, nah. Now. In December. Yeah. I'll be popping in December. Appreciate it, man. This is a wave brush. Yeah, it's a wave brush. Yeah.
It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> ah, let's go. <laughs> right. You must just run the wave, brother. And, yeah. And the nice thing is, we we started our own mm. race range now. Oh, really? Yeah, hey. Yeah. So now we. So Legends Barber is a cosmetic brand. Yeah. It's not a barber. Huh. It's a cosmetic brand. Yeah. Like my Corsa yeah. is a lifestyle brand. Yes. It's not a fashion it's brand. Not a fashion brand. Let's go, my brother. Yes. Let's make these billions. Let's do it, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you very much.